everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video it is going to be all of my like Amazon buys that I bought in the year of 2020 so I just thought it would be fun or interesting to show you guys everything I purchased that year when it was like really in the midst of my like plant journey but before we get started I need to show you something because oh my god look at the puppy so if you follow me on Instagram you would know that I take better care of my neighbors pets than they do and one of the dogs was pregnant and on Thanksgiving she had her puppies at my house um, seven little puppies and this is just one of them I just took it from mama real quick to show you guys look how precious oh I think this one's a little boy and you should definitely follow me on Instagram because I have been non-stop posting about them but yeah I am just super excited let me go and put this little baby back with his mama he is so precious all of them are and I want to keep them all it's a problem <laughs> Okay, so now that we have gotten the puppy out of the way and all of that, let's go ahead and talk about all of the plant products I bought off Amazon and whether or not I believe they were worth it and worth your money and if I would recommend them or not. So if that is something you were interested in watching, then stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so I tried to be like extra prepared for this video and have everything together so that I don't have to like walk all around looking for stuff while filming and I don't have to search through Amazon. I've already like, I've already done the work you guys to just make this hopefully a smooth video for me. It is um midnight and if you don't believe me, I can actually show you because I have my phone. Oh, it's obviously not going to show you, but... It is 12.28. Maybe you can see it up here. Hello. Focus. Okay, 12.28. So the first item that I ever purchased off Amazon for my plants was this little garden trowel. And I will say that I have no idea how much I bought it for, but I'm sure it was less than $10. It was probably like 5 or something. No more than $10 because I was not about to buy a $20 shovel. Um, and honestly, I don't know why I bought it, but obviously if you're repotting plants, you need a shovel, right? So I thought I needed it, I bought it, and I don't really use it. Let me show you guys what I actually use 9 times out of 10 when repotting my plants. If you haven't already seen me use it, hold on, let me get it. Okay, so this little OxyClean scoop is actually what you will see me use majority of the time um, when I'm repotting my plants. So yeah, I don't even really use the shovel and I don't think you guys need a shovel. You can use anything around your house that is like a scoop to repot your plant. It doesn't have to be a shovel. So if that's not something you like need immediately or want immediately, definitely don't worry about getting something like that right away if you don't already have one. So the next thing that I purchased was a 10 inch plant pot and I got this because I thought that I needed to repot every single plant I got as soon as I got it. Um, new plant people problems. <laughs> but yeah, let me show you guys the pot because I still have it. And just by the way, oh yeah, I forgot to like introduce you guys to my little snowflake headband I was worried about the puppy and getting this started and it's midnight so I'm trying to just you know get it over with but I also have little reindeer earrings in I don't know if you can see them from there but yeah this is my little like plant miss first plant miss video that I'm doing and ugh, sorry okay so this is like my per my purse my first little plant miss video that I'm doing and so I thought I would just get into the holiday spirit I don't know what to call it also if you hear any little noises it's the puppies and my guinea pig she's really active tonight I don't know what's going on okay so let me show you this plant pot Ooh, I'm only showing it to you for like two seconds okay ready one two there it is so 
Oh, that one is heavy. That is actually a plant that I brought in from outdoors. And um, the plant that I did have in it, it was my coleus and she died. So I just dumped that out and then stuck this pot. It's a plant potted in a pot inside the white pot. So it's not an actual planted pot inside the pot. Or planted plant inside the pot. You know what I'm saying. It says here on Amazon that it was $24.99. $24.49, sorry. Um, I don't think I would pay that much for this pot, but maybe that was like one of the better prices for this size pot at that time. So I thought it was a good deal, but I honestly don't remember paying that much for this pot. And... I wouldn't purchase it again honestly I don't need to repot my plants right away and nursery pots are just so much better to just leave your plants in and then just stick them in like a pretty cover pot if you want but I just got a little carried away which you will see throughout this video so yeah I didn't really need it but I got it and I still have it moving on so the next thing I got, and I don't have to show you because I used it all up, was indoor potting mix. And I paid, it says, so it doesn't tell me how much I paid for them. I'm not sure how to like figure that out unless I like go into the order history details and all that. And that was too much work. So I just went to the actual thing that I purchased in my order history, clicked on the picture, and then whatever price it is now, that's what we're going to go with. So it says that it is $5.37. I probably paid that for it. Um, because I didn't think that was a bad price and I still don't think that's a bad price for a six quart bag but um, it says this is for a wide variety of container plants and I think that's why I got it because I was like oh it says it's for my plants that I'm trying to pot up so it must be good and it had a picture of a croton on it and that was like the first house plant that I ever got. So I was like, obviously this is the planning mix that I need, but honestly you guys, you don't need it. Get you a big bag of miracle Grow for like 7 bucks, get you a nice blend of, not blend, but a um, 4 or $5 bag of miracle Grow Orchid Bark, dump that in, and perlite, mix it up, you're good to go. You really don't need anything crazy, anything special, if you're using, excuse me, if you're using soil. So that was the one and only time that I bought that and I would not buy it again. Okay, next, I don't have any, well maybe I do. So the next thing that I bought, which I got because I wanted to make pebble trays because everybody said your calatheas need humidity, pebble trays and all that and I was that person that was like, oh my god, help me, what do I do with this plant? I just got it, give me all the care tips, right? So I bought the pebbles and here are some, I just have them in this bag now. I don't know where the rest have gone. Um, I don't use them you guys. It was a waste. I don't know why I got them. Uh, the pebble trays, they just collect so many gnats. Like, in my opinion, it was more of a nuisance to have pebble trays filled with gnats everywhere that you're constantly having to change or rinse out and I just, I'm not here for it. So I don't even use them. Um, I was putting pebbles in like the bottom of some of my containers um, when I'm potting them up, potting a new plant up, but I stopped doing that as well because I was like, eh, that's not for me. And now I actually put them in the bottom of like my little terrariums, my little cookie jar terrariums that I made. Um, I have some kind of near me, but I don't feel like getting it, you guys, sorry. But it is in one of my videos that I either have already posted or will be posting that I have posted about my little cookie jar terrariums or candy jar terrariums, so I will have that linked, just so you know. So yeah, I don't recommend buying rocks, pebbles, you don't need them, it's a waste. And it says I paid $16.74 for them, I don't think I paid that much. I seriously think it was like a good deal or something. I don't think I would have paid almost $20 for some rocks. I could have gone and collected them outside. Okay, next I actually have with me and I bought this, um, what is it? It says here it is a white and black, nature hand painted white and black square plastic pot. And I actually drilled holes in the bottom because it did not come with holes. And it says it was $8.67, which I might have paid. I honestly think this was on sale or something as well for like $4, $5, maybe even like $2 or two dollars or something. It was a really good deal. And I thought it was kind of a cool shape, but I didn't realize it had no drainage holes. And um, 
I don't even use it anymore. It is such an odd shaped pot that nothing really fits in it right unless uh, a circle pot would fit in it good but it's too tall for most of those and yeah I definitely regret buying it. Um, I wish I didn't but I still have it and I put holes in it so <laughs> yeah. The next thing that I got was this little mister bottle and I still have it. I rarely use it anymore. I got it originally because back when the hype about misting your plants was a thing, even, well, it was a thing for me. I feel like everybody goes through that phase of it's a thing when they're like getting into the plant journey. So back when it was a thing for me to mist your plants, I needed a mister. So I got one and this one was $6.99 it says. I probably paid that much for it. I think it was on sale. Honestly, every time I like buy stuff on Amazon, half the time it's for a good deal on sale. So yeah, I bought this thinking I needed to miss my plants like daily and I was doing that. But you guys, this bottle does not hold that much water and I was like constantly having to refill it up and I was like, nope, that's not for me. Too much work. And honestly, I started using this for pest treatment and um, misting my prop boxes. So sometimes I don't like to just pour water directly into them. I like to use this just to kind of mist the top of the moss because it works a lot better than just pouring water right onto them. So yeah, I would not buy this one again. There is a, um, a 10 ounce one and a 17 ounce one and there might be an even bigger one, I'm not sure. But I would probably get the 17 ounce one just so I could hold more water and not have to fill it up every few sprays because it goes quick like it's really fine mist and it does the job but you definitely use the water up really quickly so that's the only downside I'd say next thing I bought off Amazon is this classic home and garden whiskey barrel in Kentucky walnut color and I got this how much did it say $9.99 I don't know if I paid that or not but I do still have it let me show you I have a plant in it right now so here it is, and I also, yeah, I had to put holes in this one as well because it didn't come with holes, and it is very, like, it's very flimsy. I'm not sure how well you can tell, but it's very flimsy. It's not a, at all what I thought it was going to be. I think it was going to be way bigger as well. Like, I think I, w I thought I was buying something way bigger, but as you can tell, it's really not that big. Like, my head is bigger than this thing, I feel like. So... I thought I was buying a way bigger pot, turns out I didn't, but I didn't have the energy and I kind of thought it was cute so I wanted to keep it and I didn't feel like returning it so we kept it but I wouldn't buy it again, it's not necessary. I was buying way too many plant pots that I did not need. <laughs> okay, next thing that I bought, which was, spoiler alert, a regret is a humidifier. You guys, I don't think you need a humidifier. Um, sure, your plants, some of them need like the extra humidity and stuff. So get a tent or get a cabinet and it will literally create its own humidity just being enclosed in that tiny space with enough warmth and light. And I think that a humidifier just adds more humidity and mold, like it will create a nice environment for mold to start settling in your house and all that and your plants really don't benefit from these humidifiers they really don't do enough it's not like a natural rainforest or anything and everybody has their own opinion on humidifiers if they use them if they don't use them I personally stopped using it also who has time to fill it up every day and remember about it being on every day and yeah I mean, I guess they were cool when you were home 24-7 from, you know, the panorama, but I don't know. I, I don't like it, and I got tired of filling it up and dealing with it, so I think it was a waste. I regret buying it, and yeah, I still have it, but it's like packed away somewhere, so I don't have it to like show you. Okay, so the next item that I purchased and still have and kind of still use is my elephant watering can. And I will say, you guys, if you have a lot of plants and you are watering a lot of plants at one time, this is not the watering can for you because you will be filling it up a lot. 
Um, also, if it is like super full all the way up here and you like barely tilt it like that, all the water comes out of the spout, which that is honestly probably normal for a lot of watering cans, but that's just what I noticed with this one. And <clears throat> yeah, it's super cute. Obviously, it's an elephant, but I sometimes I don't even use it. You can't even fit a gallon of water in here. So I don't know how much. Okay, so it's two quarts. You can fit two quarts of water, but um, it's just not practical for a lot of plants and it doesn't have a price up here because I don't think it's available anymore. It does say compare new from $8.35. Um, so I might have paid like $8, $10 or something for it. I think it was like $10, $9, $9.99. I don't know. But yeah, it's not practical. But I do like how this little spout part. So it's not circular and it's not square, but it's rectangle. So it gets into these tray areas in between pots really well so that is one thing I do like about it is that I don't know oh I just spilled water everywhere I don't know I do like that aspect of it so sometimes I will definitely use this one when watering certain plants just because it does have this nice long spout and you can reach back into places and get into the little trays easier between your plant pot so I wouldn't say I recommend the elephant one, but something like that. A nice watering can with like a longer spout is definitely good to have around just so you can have options. But I definitely do just like taking my gallon jug and just pouring it on my plants whenever I'm watering them just because it holds more water. Next, I don't have these because I used them up, but it is the indoor plant food. And um, I would never buy these again. It was a waste of money. It says here is $11.98 for a two pack. I mean, that's not a terrible price, but honestly for what it does and as often as you're going to be using it, it's just not practical. Um, I would definitely recommend Liquider um, or like Super Thrive or something like that where it's like more of a concentrate and then you mix just a little bit of it in your gallon of water. So a little bit goes a really long way. Those I definitely notice my plants do enjoy more. I use liquid dirt and it just lasts way longer. So it just makes more sense to get instead of something like this. Okay, next I don't have the um, link or anything for you for this one because it is currently unavailable. Like it doesn't even let me search for it at all or go to it where I bought it and see the price anything like that anymore on Amazon but it is this bamboo clothes rack on wheels and I got it with the intentions of putting hanging plants on it it is this one behind me you can't see let me turn this for you but it is this one right here so I have plants up top hanging and then there's a little shelf down here for plants and then there's another bottom shelf and um, would I buy it again? No, probably not. Just because I don't like how you can't really hang, like, I didn't really expect or realize the length that plants were when they're hanging. And by the time you put your hanging plant there, you can only fit two or three, depending on the size for one. And then depending on what are the depending on what other plants you put at the bottom, you have no room for the hanging plants and the bottom plants to not collide and touch. So I don't recommend it. And I think that having what I like to do is just taking like a, um, a rod or something and just installing a rod somewhere, putting that up is just so much simpler and you can hang way more plants. Like I have a shower curtain rod over my kitchen sink and then I have another rod right over here across from me which I've showed you guys in some of my houseplant tours and um, ways to like um, store your plants, display your plants, whatever you want to call it. Oh, This is a long video, a lot of talking. But yeah, I find those easier and better because you can also put them up as high as you want. Next is this neem oil, and this is a ready-to-use neem oil for $9.99. Um, I will say that I think you don't get as much bang for your buck when you buy it like this. I would prefer the concentrate, which we will get into because I did purchase that this same year. Um, the spray, like I did use it up, it goes like... It gets used up so quick, you guys. Literally, I 
probably use it up within the first or second day of having the bottle just because I had a lot of plants to treat so I mean it might not be a bad thing if you just have a few plants here and there but if you were like a really big like plant collector really getting getting into plants I don't recommend it because you're gonna go through it just way too quick and it's not worth the price okay next item I bought and I regret buying is my moisture meter and so here it is I literally never use it I will say in the beginning it was nice to have when I was really worried to water plants and before I realized that like the plants seriously speak to you they will let you know when they need to be watered nine times out of ten don't quote me on that but for the majority of the time the plants pretty much let you know when and what they need whether it's too much Sun the leaves are burning um, they need water the leaves are wilting or wrinkled you know so this was nice to have in the beginning and it was only like how much were you it was tw it says $12.99 here but for that price it's not that bad to have on hand just in case you are unsure of if a plant needs water or not so I would say if you want one just go for it and get one but if you already feel comfortable with how you've been watering your plants and you know how you've been caring for your plants I would say it's not really necessary to have the next thing and this is another plant stand this one is a six tier plant stand and it says it was $29.99 but it's actually on sale right now for $23.99 and you guys when I got this plant stand I was like um excuse me I clearly didn't read the dimensions because it is short it doesn't really go anywhere in like a bigger house or a house with like a lot of space to fill because it is so small so don't recommend it even though it is nice to have I have it you know and I didn't send it back but I don't really use it anymore I have I can see it from where I'm sitting I only have three plants on it and then I have a little basket underneath and like I said I really don't use it anymore and I don't really know where to put it um, but it is cool for if you wanted to like take it to a plant sale you could display some plants on that it is super lightweight and super small and kind of compact so I don't know it could be good for that okay next are these little plastic plant pots with a little saucer and I could not find any other plant but this one that I've literally been showing or I know that I've been showing it because I've already filmed the videos they just aren't up yet but I have been showing this plant off so much in all the videos but this is the plant pot that I was talking about and if you see here it has that one little teeny tiny drainage hole you guys what was I thinking no, I don't recommend that for just throwing your plant in, even though that plant is just thrown in there. I thought she was going to die. I overwatered the heck out of it because that little drainage hole did nothing, okay? So I would just say be careful when using plant pots like that. Just be careful with the overwatering, you guys. That It's on you if you kill your plant if you use these pots, but it has a little tiny hole. And yes, you could add your own bigger hole or another hole. I don't have time for that not with this one it is a nice thick plastic pot though so I would say it would be really good for a nice decor catch pot and the little saucer you don't have to use but it is nice for if you want to water your plants if it is in that pot in like a nursery pot and then the, the little saucer could catch the little draining water so I would say that would be nice and I have used them for that but that was after I realized that you don't have to repot every single plant that you get so yeah just be careful you know and it says that these were $15.98 which how many did I get five of them I don't know I guess that's an okay price they are nice heavy duty so I would say for that price it is pretty decent but um, I probably wouldn't buy them again just because I uh, I don't know if I was going for the all white aesthetic yes maybe but they aren't a must-have okay sorry if you hear the little whiny dog in the background these puppies are hilarious when they're eating they literally scream like and whine and cry while they're eating like it's I don't know anyways okay so these next plant pots both sizes that I have in these are currently unavailable because I have noticed that a lot of 
other planty YouTubers have been using these and showing these online. So I was like, okay, they're definitely going out of stock. But it is these little, what are they, Mohina self-watering pots with the little rope thing. Let me just show you. I can't explain anything. So it has the little rope here where it catches, it soaks up the water and it is like a self-watering system. Um, and then you have your little like catch pot thing and then you stick it in. I have a whole stack of them here. This is, it's not how big it actually is. But um, so yeah, I have three of them here. And these I actually drain, drained. I drilled my own holes in because... I wasn't using them with um, these little black pieces. At, in the beginning, I hated them. I did not like them. I did not realize this is what I bought. And these little tiny slits, they don't leave much room for water to drain out of. So I just felt like a lot of my plants were definitely getting a little bit moldy in these. But that was before I like knew LECA was a thing, before I experimented with LECA. And I'm a little bit sad that I drilled holes in pretty much every single one of these except for I left one size of each, just one pot in each of the sizes with no holes drilled in it. So I do have one size of each of those with plants with LECA in there. Sorry if I'm terrible at explaining anything just by the way bear with me but yeah I love them for LECA like surprisingly they have been working so well these plants so I have one back here this one is in LECA and this is my painted lady and then this one back here that one right there she is also in LECA in one of these pots and doing super well so I wish I wouldn't have put holes in the bottom of these because now they are no good for using LECA it obviously won't stay wet so that would be kind of pointless and I don't know what I'm gonna do with these now that they have holes in the bottom I've just had them on my plant shelf <laughs> so that was the little 4.5 inch or whatever and then I also got the 6 inch ones which I also drilled holes in so yeah I did buy both sizes and I would say they were they are good for LECA but for soil stuff like that I wouldn't recommend the next item that I got was this Cactus Palm and Citrus Potting Mix. Um, you don't have to get this on Amazon. You can get it at Walmart, I think, Home Depot, Lowe's. And I bought it for $5.40, $5.37. Jeez, I can't see. And honestly, I, I don't recommend it. it. It did nothing for me. I just mixed it in with my other soil eventually. Um... I thought that I was going to be using it just for succulents and my cactus, but that ended up not happening because it was still not, not drainage enough, like not drainage enough. It wasn't chunky enough. It wasn't, it didn't have enough perlite. Like you still definitely would have to mix your own. I do not trust any just regular bag of soil. I don't care what you get. In my opinion, I just use the cheap stuff and you always have to mix in your own things like the orchid bark and whatever to make sure that um, your plant can drain well and get enough aeration and all that. I'm having a tough time explaining things now, my goodness. Okay, next thing I got was this 12 pack of um, sticky traps, the little yellow traps, and since buying this 12 pack, I have gotten so many more. I would definitely recommend these if you have a house, if you have a houseplant problem. If you have a gnat problem with your houseplants, um, they definitely work super well, but I will say they aren't like aesthetically pleasing to look at and they do get nasty looking. So if you can handle that, then definitely go for it and get these. I love them. Um, I got them in this 12 pack for six, well, Okay, it says it was $14.99 for a 12 pack, but that doesn't seem right at all. It says right now they're on sale for $6.38, but that still seems kind of crazy. $14.99 for a 12 pack. I would never pay that for 12. Um, or maybe I did. I don't know, but later on down the line, I ended up getting like a 96 pack or something for I don't know how much. I think we're going to get to it here soon hold on let me just scroll down we'll just go through the sticky traps okay yeah I got the 48 pack for 935 48 pieces okay so that was in 2020 
this video is just like 2020 purchases I got off Amazon, but in 2021, I do know I got a 96 pack and these are some leftovers from that. But yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend sticky traps. They are so easy to use. Just pop them in if you have a um, gnat problem and the little babies stick to them and it helps get rid of the little life cycle situation so that um, when the babies start to crawl, they crawl onto this and then they die instead of growing up into the adults that fly around and are the pesky little gnats that are in your morning coffee and in your face and in your phone light and in any other light 24 7. Alrighty, next thing I got, <clears throat> goodness. Okay, so the next thing I got off Amazon was these mosquito bits. And since I bought them on Amazon, I've noticed the packaging has changed. I don't think they come in this little plastic container anymore. It looks like they're in a bag now, I'm not sure. Um, but it says it was $15.99. And somewhere it said these were on sale, if I saw correctly, I'm not sure. But um, at the time that I'm recording this anyways, but I believe I paid, 50, oh, it says, okay, so they're on sale now for $15.99, originally $18.99. So I don't think I got them when they were on sale. But um, this is my second one actually that I've used and I either make a little bit of mosquito bit tea or I always add a little bit of this in my um, potting mix when I mix that up in big batches because it does definitely help with reducing the mosquito gnats. Mosquito gnats. Anyways, with the fungus gnats. Um, yeah, so I would definitely buy those again and I do like to use those. So 10 out of 10 would recommend those. Okay, next is this Orchid Potting Bark All Natural Four Quarts that I got for $10.99. I don't recommend getting not this particular bag anyways. Um, there is a cheaper bag from miracle Grow that is basically the same thing, does the same thing, and it's way cheaper for half the price, um, four or five bucks, and I would definitely recommend that one over this one. I also got some pumice and... It says here it was $15.95 and I don't believe I paid $15.95 for some pumice but I might have because obviously pumice is more expensive than perlite and this is when I was like trying to be extra fancy and I was like I need pumice in my potting mix and no you don't you really don't um, I think though that they have pumice in the um, pond mix but I'm not 100% sure but I went through it so fast and it just wasn't worth it for how much you have to pay for it Moving on, this Earth's Ally Insect Control, um, I'm not sure how much this one was, $13.98, and oh my god, did I pay $13.98 for that? I hope not. That is too expensive, you guys. I don't recommend. Like I said, with the neem oil already mixed together, you go through way too much of that, um, too fast, so don't recommend. Um, oh my god, also with this organic, this next one, Neem Oil 3-in-1, 1860, that's on sale, originally $19.89. There is no way that I paid $20 for a bottle of spray. I did not, you guys. I swear they were like only $9 or something. Um, I don't know where these prices have come from now, but this was a year ago so maybe things have changed and have gotten a little bit more expensive because houseplants have become a lot more popular alrighty so now we finally got to the neem oil concentrate and this I still have a lot of this you guys so it says here it was $18 I probably paid that much which that is not a bad price if you think about it for a whole bottle of this stuff I'm shaking it like you'll be able to tell how much is left but this is still practically full and I haven't used that much of it. Um, I just use a little tiny drop or two in my spray bottle when I am spraying for pest or pest control, stuff like that. You don't want to go too heavy handed with the neem oil because it will leave a layer of it on your plants and then they won't be able to get enough light to grow and it will slow down their growth and all that. So definitely after using this, um, like a bunch or for a while you do want to wipe off your plants um, because it can get caked on there a little bit but I would recommend that bottle of concentrate and just mixing it in with water um, and whatever else you want I like to add a little bit of pesticide as well when I mix it 
and yeah, it is just worth it for how much you get. Okay, oh my goodness, this chair is so much better than the little kid chair I was just sitting in, you guys. You know that feeling when you get up and your butt hurts so bad from the hard seat you've been sitting on? That's me right now. Anyways, moving on. So this next item that I purchased is another one that I would definitely purchase again when I run out, which I don't see myself running out for quite some time. Hold on, let me slide over so I can insert a picture as well. Ugh. Okay, so it is this Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, and I would definitely buy this again when I run out. And I bought this in 2020, and this is how much I've used. Please focus. Um, so yeah, I still have so much left. You literally only need one or two drops of this. I probably don't use it as often as I should or could, but I do love it when I am washing my plants, rinsing off the leaves, or um, it is good for, <clears throat> excuse me, it is good for pest prevention because they don't like soap, I think. So I don't, I'm not really sure the technicalities of it, but um, it does help with pest prevention and cleaning your plant leaves and stuff like that. So I do highly, highly recommend this soap. Um, I forget why this is the one like you should use. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a good one and I've had it for quite some time and I still have a lot left. So I think it's definitely worth it. Um, it was $8.09, $8.09. That's not too bad. So yeah, I would definitely get that one again. Next item that I have to show you, which, oh my God, I don't know why I bought this. This was just kind of a... I want this item because I think it will just help me in my plant journey so much but it is this gardening journal and you guys how many times did I use this okay so I started writing in it just a few times um one two three four five five plants made their way into this book and then I haven't used it since so I don't think one of these are necessary unless you're like super creative or really have the time for that, um, which I do not. So for me, it just really wasn't worth the time and the energy of having it. And I think I paid $9.99 for it, which yeah, $9.99, not necessary. The last thing I have to show you. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is the same exact pack. I bought quite a few of these, but it probably isn't because I probably already went through them. This is the little 4-inch nursery pots, the reusable plastic pots, and this was $7.99, this was $8.99, it's on sale right now for $7.99, I'm not sure which one I paid, but I love these so much for if you are a person that likes to sell plants, this is really good for that. They are very cheap pots and I don't have any issues with my plants in them. They do come with plenty of drainage holes, so yeah. I love them. I will say they are super duper flimsy. Like this is this is two pots connected, not even one. So just one pot. Like they are very flimsy, but I mean it's gonna get repotted most likely anyways or thrown away. So they're really good for selling plants and not worrying about always having to buy little pots to put plants in just have these on hand. So yeah, that about wraps it up for all of my 2020 Amazon plant products that I purchased that year and the ones that I did like and I did not like. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to see my 2021 plant purchases, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what are some things that you guys have bought that you definitely don't use anymore or wish you didn't buy and you really thought you needed for your plants so though. I want to know like what you what you had and yeah tell me what your thoughts are on everything that I got and if you want to see more videos like this because this one was really fun. Um, it was a lot of work like finding everything if I still had it or not but it was kind of exciting to go back um, and look for my older plant stuff that I used. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh my goodness, look at the puppies. Look at this one scooting his way over. Look at him go. And then those two cuddled up over there. They are the most precious thing. They're looking for their mama.
she's walking around. I just got done filming and she started walking around and I just wanted to show you guys how precious your puppies are. Yeah, mama. And don't worry, I feed her. She's super skinny, but I think she wants to go outside. So I'm going to let her out. Noisy little things. So precious. Where's your mama? Where's your mama? You silly doggy. Oh, little puppy. But mom, where'd you go? You left me. I'm just your baby here by myself. Hi. Little cutie. <laughs> so stupid. Look at these two. Oh my gosh. Look at them, they're precious. Hi, baby. Hi. Aww. Look at his babies. Oh my goodness, and these guys just left. Hi, Mama. You ready to go outside? Oh, they're moving now. Okay, where's our Mama? Oh my goodness. <laughs> they are the cutest, you guys. I love them so much. So this little girl, she's been sleeping out here, which this is where the puppies were born in. But yeah, since mama dog is sleeping inside, this girl's found her little sleeping spot. So she's warm at night. So yeah. She's so skinny. I feel so bad for these dogs, you guys. Oh, well, they're all cuddled up with each other now because Mama's outside. Oh, my ring light won't cut back on. I cut it off, and it was on too long, so now it's got to cool down. <laughs> Look how precious the babies. <laughs> like, let me get in here with you guys. Let me get in on the cuddle. I love dogs so much.